Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Citizen. We are now in Alpha 3.7 and as mentioned in the previous video I decided to trade in my Aurora MR for this Mustang Alpha and I'm trying it out in the racing mode. That previous lap was not very good. I crashed a few times and uh, but this this lap is better. <laughs> I, I needed to get some practice in with this to see how it handles and it, it seems to handle better than the Aurora MR. And also better than the Mustang, uh, sorry, the Merlin, uh, which was interesting. The Merlin is supposed to be more nimble, but this seems to turn a lot better, at least Check to my liking, anyway. As it so happens, I still have the Aurora MR listed in Arena Commander as an option, so I, I don't know how long that's going to last. We'll see. Um, I'm not entirely sold on the Mustang Alpha's aesthetic, uh, especially the icon in the corner from the top-down view makes it look like some kind of bug. I'm not fond of ships that look like bugs, but it does handle well, and we'll see it later in the Vandal Swarm mode, uh, single player only, not multiplayer, and we'll see how it does in combat, well, in combat that I can quantify. I would much rather uh, try it in combat in Battle Royale mode, but once again I couldn't get anybody else in Battle Royale mode, so without somebody to combat with, I was left with Vandal Swarm in single player. So, yep, uh, here I go, just trying to figure out how to handle it. I should clarify that I do have the speed limiter on a throttle lever. I have a full throttle quadrant with three throttles, and uh, it's the second one. The, so I've got the throttle and the speed limiter, both on axes. And I only increase the speed limit when I've made a clean lap. And so you saw me increase it there because that previous lap was clean. And that's my strategy for getting better at this. Otherwise, if I just have the speed limiter to full, I just crash into everything, <laughs> basically. I need a lot more practice. I, don't, I haven't spent nearly enough time in Star Citizen to, to uh, you know, perform like a pro. So I'll, I'll get there eventually. But here we go. Let's see what I can do. Now, with the Aurora MR and the Merlin in the previous video, I got lap times of 140, which is admittedly horrible. But I'm just, uh, I just wanted some sort of baseline to compare to. And we'll see how well I do here. In the previous lap, I was close to that. And I'm still trying to get used to this. And it's turning. The ships are very different. So it does take some practice and knowing what turns you can get away with. So that was obviously not a turn I could get away with, but uh, as it so happens, I still have some time. I was going a bit faster than on the previous lap, so let's see if I can make it through in under 140. Now, even if I do make it under 140, okay, I am going to make it under 140 on this one. Uh, that doesn't say that this ship is better than the Aurora MR or the Merlin for racing yet. First, I have to be consistent about how I fly these things. And again, I am no pro. I wonder what that sound that it has right when I pass that. Is that supposed to be like camera shutters? I don't know what that sound is. Anyway, as you can see, 139.40, and so far that's the best I've done. I'll practice more. So here we are with the Vandal Swarm mode, and I'm giving you an exterior view of the Mustang Alpha. I mean, it's sort of okay from, from this perspective. It's just a top-down view that, well, okay, the bottom view as well. That made me think it's like some kind of bug, and I don't like bugs. But anyway, in the previous video in Alpha 3.6, my experience was that it took a long time to kill anything, and generally the damage points were listed in the 1, 2, 3, and then suddenly accumulated in the hundreds. This time, got into the hundreds pretty darn quickly. And I didn't feel like I needed to aim nearly as as uh, correctly as I did in the previous video. So it seemed a lot easier to kill things. So in other words, between 3.6 and 3.7, there seems to be some drastic changes to the whole combat thing, or I don't know, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not the Mustang Alpha being that much better than the Aurora MR or the Merlin, as we'll soon see because I'll try those out as well. Since I still seem to have the Aurora MR, I decided to give it another try, given that the previous experience was no longer valid. So here I go, uh, whoa, I sort of got knocked a little bit there. 
but yep, on to wave two in record time, really. And I'll, I'll cut out big chunks of the combat, but uh, try and hit the major experiences, if you will. Like, for instance, getting hit by a missile for the first time in this version. Yeah, that took a big chunk out of me, uh, but didn't kill me. I, I'm a little bit puzzled by the computer saying shield at full strength when the shield is clearly not at full strength. So I don't know, I don't know what that's about. Maybe it means that the shields, the shield coverage is full, even if the shields seem weak in the upper left-hand corner. I don't know. That shield at full strength seems to come at an incorrect time. And here we go. Wave 5, you'll notice. I only got to wave 3 last time, and it took ages. Here, a few minutes in, I'm already on wave 6. It's like a blink of an eye. I have not learned the countermeasure button. So, don't know how to release countermeasures yet. I know they exist, but I have not, I did not memorize that. So, missiles are just gonna hit me. Which, in a way, is good because we can compare how much damage they do to each of the ships. I basically got to wave 6, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die in wave 6. Wave 6 is difficult. So, my sense of this mode, at least, is that it is pretty quick to kill things right now. And for Arena Commander, not, that might be alright, because it is sort of an arcade sort of thing. I, I don't know how serious it's supposed to be, though it is good to try and use Arena Commander to test out, you know, combat skills and combat strategies and stuff like that, loadouts. Uh, at least I would like to do that, but it doesn't seem like a whole lot of other people are in here doing that. Um, but... I'll have to see in the Persistent Universe how the combat works. I'll take up some of those missions to really see how much has changed. I wasn't keen on taking combat missions in the Aurora MR in the previous version because it obviously seemed like it was a very daunting task to engage like that and it would take a long time to do any encounter. Uh, this time, given how this is working out, I think I'm more likely to pick up um, some combat missions in the Persistent Universe and see how they go. It seems like I might have time for them at least, if not the skill. But here we go, still in wave 6 out of 9, and I am down to zero respawns. Oh, incidentally, I have the FPS counter in the upper right hand corner for a reason. Um, rec the recording doesn't always keep up with the game. And that's because the game itself is taking up resources and I'm playing on the same computer as I'm recording, unfortunately. So, yeah, I put the FPS in the upper right so you know what my experience was and sometimes it does go down, it goes when in red just there. And But sometimes it's the recording that just doesn't have the resources to keep up. And there I go, defeat. So that was my first experience in actually reaching a defeat in Vandal Swarm. <laughs> uh, normally I quit long before that, so it was sufficiently fun for me to try. Now, I still have the Aurora here for some reason, even though I, I was supposed to have traded it in for the, for the Mustang Alpha, but since it's here, I decided to see how it worked. Now, hopefully you saw the previous video and saw how it worked there, and it's a pretty big gap. If I had to give a preference, I'd say I'd like something in between what happened in 3.6 and what's happening here. A little bit more difficulty wouldn't be too bad, especially since these are like the starter ships. The Aurora MR and the Mustang Alpha are both options, as far as I know, for a starter ship if you get the starter package. So, yeah. This should be a little bit more difficult to get to wave 6, I think. Maybe, I don't know how it works, whether it's actually scaled, the enemies are scaled to your, your ship or not. So, yeah. Otherwise, the Aurora seemed sturdier than the Mustang Alpha. Um, it didn't seem as prone to get damage. The Mustang Alpha's guns seem to have a lower fire rate and pack more punch, whereas the Aurora MR has a very high fire rate. I tend to prefer the Aurora MR's guns. The sound also sounds a little bit better to me. Uh, but I don't know if the shells are limited still. Probably they are, but I didn't reach the limit. 
and um, there are little icons around where it, it shows you you can pick up shells, uh, whatever, uh, ammo. I sort of have mixed feelings about those little like floaty icons, but I figure since you have a HUD, um, it just could be an indicator where they're floating around and they're sort of auto replenish, auto replenishing you. But anyway, the Aurora MR initially I thought was supposed to be a cargo vessel, and then the Mustang Alpha seemed to be the fighter. Now it seems like the Aurora MR is more the fighter and the Mustang Alpha is more the cargo vessel. So I'm totally confused. Anyway, uh, I still get damage done to me, as is appropriate. I mean, uh, in the previous version in Alpha 3.6, it was very difficult for them to damage me. Here it's clearly the case that they are damaging me much faster. And it's certainly more exciting to do combat in this version. I'll have to see whether that translates to the Persistent Universe or not, probably in the next video. And then we'll get a better look at the Mustang Alpha and take it on its rounds. It doesn't seem to have a better quantum drive than the Aurora. At least not... I mean, I, I couldn't get clean numbers on that, but it seems about the same sort of quantum stats. So, the trips between planets take quite a long time, like 10 minutes. And I would really like for them to cut that down, to be honest. It would be really nice. I know it's to facilitate the whole interdiction mechanic, but honestly, the cutting in half wouldn't be too bad. But anyway. Oh, got one of those flame things going. Anyway, so we are on wave six. I have zero respawns again. I told you wave six is very difficult. And here I'm trying to approach here. After this, I'll try the Merlin out. And the Merlin still has its glare. And racking up points here. I, I like racking up points. Oh, oh, ow. But I did better. You can see a lot more kills than last time. But still on wave 6, I ended up. So now the Merlin, which is smaller um, and has these pea shooter guns. Apparently effective though and uh, potentially more nimble, though I, again, I still feel like the Mustang Alpha turns better to my taste. This seems to have a lot more inertia for some reason. But again, I have limited experience and maybe just completely flying them wrong. A lot of the time, I try to kill stuff and because this has pea shooters, one of my allies, the three, uh, I think there's two AI ships that fight alongside me, uh, killed them before I did, but it, it did pretty good killing things. When the enemy could shoot me, it did damage pretty quickly, but it seemed to have trouble shooting me because I guess I'm small, basically. And this is a snub fighter, and so it's be meant to be carried by something else that doesn't have its own quantum drive, so it's a lot smaller, I guess, than everything else and harder to shoot. And as a result, I actually got further along than in the Aurora or in the Mustang Alpha. So we are going to get beyond Wave 6 this time. You can see I still have uh, four respawns. I swear the Mustang Alpha's shields uh, held up less well than this one did. Not sure though. But then again, I think the Mustang Alpha right now isn't, strictly speaking, supposed to be a fighter. So it might make sense ballistics full and missile once again I still haven't looked up where the countermeasure button is uh, very clearly just trying to do fancy maneuvers does not fool the missiles very well so far I've done a lot of heavy editing on the battles but uh, from here on I'll just show you everything except for when we are respawning which takes uh, a little while I, that is a sort of a 10 second delay or something like that on respawning yeah, so I cut that much out, but just to give you a sense of how long it takes me to acquire a target and the nice glare. I, I wasn't as irritated by the glare this time, but I don't think they've changed anything there. I might have just gotten used to it. This ship is very shiny. But yeah, overall, I, I don't know what the actual instruments down there do, but as long as I have the HUD, information 
the heads up display, you know, in the upper left and right, and then at the center. That seems to be sufficient for me. I'm sure the information down below on the instrument panel is actually relevant. Well, the radar here is pretty good. I like this radar and the one in the Mustang Alpha a lot more than the one that's in the Aurora MR. And they're nice clear dots as opposed to the Aurora MR which has little lines and such. Which uh, uh, show you, you know, it's, it's more of a 3D representation in the Aurora MR which is a fine to a certain extent. But Difficult to see in the in the press of things, I feel. Another thing difficult to see is the little arrow that shows up to indicate which direction your enemy is in on the heads-up display. Very critical, but it sometimes takes me a little while to spot where the heck that arrow is. I'm looking for it, trying to figure out, okay, well, there's the enemy. Uh, it's not too big a deal. I might, I mean, there might be a configuration option to change the color of that to make it a little bit more obvious. So my intention is to continue doing practical tests with these ships and seeing how they perform with respect to each other. Hopefully getting more consistent with them along the way so that my results will be comparable. So that when I do this well in Van Storm with this ship and that well with that ship, I'll actually be able to compare it. Obviously in this case, probably the fact that I'm doing better in the Merlin might have more to do with the fact that I played it last and so I had a little bit more practice. So far in Alpha 3.7, which seems to be very different from Alpha 3.6, these three times I've showed you, the first one in the Mustang Alpha, then in the Aurora MR, and then with this, are the only times I've done Vandal Swarm in this version, so yeah, probably some adaptation is necessary. Okay, well, we are on Wave 8. And I'd say it was a pretty satisfying time getting to Wave 8. Uh, it didn't take too long. You can see the clock at the top there. And certainly a lot better than in the previous version where it seemed rather tedious. I mean, uh, epic in its own way. I mean, the battle between uh, myself and every single ship taking like five minutes. But um, yeah, this seemed rather smoother. I imagine people with more skills though might want a little bit more difficulty, more of a challenge to make it more satisfying, though not, not anything near the way it was last time in the last video. Anyway, so got some progress here and maybe I'll do better in the future, but next time I'll be in the Persistent Universe trying out the Mustang Alpha and seeing where I can go. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.